the great Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Welcome to B-Town here in historic Boston, Massachusetts. Boston's kicking off the first of an extended home stretch here, Ray. Everybody loves playing at home. You have a little more confidence. You feel a little better. You get support when things go well. Too long a home stand's not good. I think this one's just about right. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Kings take possession here on the opening draw. And wow. Underway. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Slides the puck over. Bergeron's carrying it ahead. From the point, takes a shot, makes the save. Now a quick pass to Brown. Dumps it in. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed from the left side. And now it's grabbed by Bergeron. Takes the puck at the point. Forces the turnover. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. And he slides it quickly to Kempe. What a steal in his own end. They've got numbers. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Hammers a shot, and that's blocked away. And he regains control of the puck. Nice pass. Moves it to Hutton. Hutton's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Here comes the official's call. And they're going to be shorthanded as slashing is the call on the play. Yeah, this is a penalty of frustration, James. He, things haven't been going his way. He reacts and gets called. That puts his team shorthanded. Here's a first look at the power play. What a great opportunity to get the first strike on the board. Scoreless game, you go on the power play. You want to attack this. You can change the way the game looks in the next two minutes. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. They've got numbers. Slides it across. Scooped up along the wall by Corrali. That goes off a twig. Unloads one. Comes up with a blocker save. Matt is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. Takes the feed. It's a two-on-one. To his teammate. On the doorstep. Gets a puddle on him to make the save. And that one's broken up. Big save by the goaltender once again. Tuka Rath's been a mainstay in Boston ever since coming in a trade from Toronto. It's an excellent stop there. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here's the pass. Shot. Misses. Oh, he's got to get it on the net. And not only that, he missed it by so far. It's not even a danger chance. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get now. And with the call, it's a huge opportunity for the power play, a five-on-three. I always want to see the five-on-three a little more aggressive, James, than it usually is. I think the puck has to be moved quickly. From and that goes off the iron and stays out under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Los Angeles takes possession off the faceoff. And that one's stopped. Takes the feed under pressure. Los Angeles has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Shuts him down. Big stop by the keeper. Unstoppable. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. McAvoy's got it into offensive territory. Stopped by the blocker. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Oh, boy, here comes a three-on-one. Big time save with the blocker. Oh, and another big stop. No, sir. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Right out front, and that one's turned away. Puck grabbed by Carlo. Carlo's got it in the corner. And he makes the easy save. Los Angeles has it in their own end. Ayafalo's got the puck in his own zone. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. 
Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck scooped up by Ayafalo. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here he is with the backhander. Special teams coming up huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. Quick pass to DeBrusque. DeBrusque's got the puck. And a, he scores! Now you've got to keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck is dropped, play resumes. He's 25th of the season. Tosses it on to Carter. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Taken by Krejci. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Ten minutes. Sends it over. It's in. He scores. Bang, bang. Two goals and right around a minute 40. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly, the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. The Bruins take the lead here in this first period. Nice to play from out front. Gives yourselves a little bit of a cushion if you happen to give one up. Bergeron's won the draw and tries to make a diagonal pass to Marchand. Puck moved over to Pasternak. And by number 48, Good hit to knock the puck loose. Heads deep in, he scores! Well, when it rains, it pours! Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. Boston's now up by two here in this first. And they deserve to be. They've been the better team, and they've capitalized on the opportunities that they've had offensively. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Puck picked up by Pasternak. Quick pass to Marchand. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Big hit on the play. Quick feed to Panuk. And now he tries to get it across to Walker. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. I think early in the year he gets a couple and you can feel his confidence grow and grow and grow. He looks like he thinks he's going to score almost every night. Here's a short pass to Ryan. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Trying to shake loose. He's in all alone. And now he moves it to Carlo. Great positioning in the defensive end. That turnover was made. James immediately, the coach yelled, be safe. Move to the middle, scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals, they've dominated this play. He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Boston's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Moves it quickly over to Ryan. Grabbed along the board by Carlo. And the puck's knocked loose. And now it's grabbed by Chara. Here's a shot! Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. 4-1 is the score here after the opening 20 minutes. Wow, what a start offensively. It's time for a Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Set to get underway here in the 
the second period. We'll see if they can stop the bleeding. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Bruins comfortably in front after an aggressive, productive first period. They have this game in their hands. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Uh, nothing too smooth about that play. Lots of time left in this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. The Kings get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Quick pass across to Kempe. Kempe's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Kempe. And that one's broken up. Los Angeles has it in the offensive end. Denied by the goaltender. Pasternak swooping in on the attack. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the pocket. He gets his stick caught in their feet. Boston's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Los Angeles has had the better chances, but they continue to trail. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Puck grabbed by Fanuf. And now it's over to Ayafalo. Moves the puck along the half wall. And they can't connect. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Kasha's going to play it against the half wall. Quick shot. That's off a stick. Just slide to the net. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. Takes it across the blue line. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. And the puck departs the zone. From behind the net, looks to break out. Gets it out of his own end. Back to the blue line. Moves it around along the half wall. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. Absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. They've been faster, they've played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. Los Angeles gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Carter. He scores! James, I'm really impressed here. They just gave up a goal. Now they turn it around, go back down the ice, and they equalize the one they just gave up. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Los Angeles finally catches a break here in the second. Now you wonder, do they have more to follow? They need the other guys to go out for lunch. I mean, that's going to be the way they get back in this. And a real extended lunch at yeah, that. Yeah, a long one. Here they are on the attack. Quick feed to Chara. Nice feed from the goaltender. Sends it across. And there it is. But wait a second. They're waving this one off. I don't think this should count either, James. The play is waved off immediately. The Kings' reaction to this play was immediate. The bench didn't like it, and neither did their goalie. And they have continued to beak with the officials, and it seems to be working. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Turned aside with the glove by Quick. Well, he's got two. You think he can get three? He's never had that in the game before. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Boston's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. 
Here's a backhander. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Always a focal point of the opposition is trying to shut him down. One of the league leaders in points. He's really tough to get a handle on. Krejci's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. And he loses control of the puck. Hutton's got it on the offensive end. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. And we've got a two-on-one. Knocked away. The Kings gain possession along the wall. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got the puck. Miller's taking it from his own end. Directs it on over to Kasha. Two goals in the bag already. He's got the puck again, showing some great techers. Outstanding skill as he's got the puck. He won't give it up. Centering pass in front. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Late goings of this period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And there's the save. And that skips away. Picking up ahead of steam. On the breakaway. What a stop by the goalie. Yeah, he looked really confident. Out on top of the crease, followed the shooter and made the stop. Kopitar's won it in their own end. Up along the wing. Kempe's exploring options with the puck. And officials right on top of that one calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Richie's going off to the box for two minutes. That's a bad reaction. He's beat. He's out of position. He just turns around and whacks him. Just a good old-fashioned hack. Power play unit going back to work. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Pass back to the point. And now he angles it across to Kopitar. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Puck scooped up by McAvoy. Centering pass! And that's broken up. Over the line they come. Taken by Bergeron. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Breakaway! Right up front! And that falls apart. Well, that's disappointing. Nothing out of something that looked dangerous. Puck picked up by Wagner. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Flies over the net. I think he's trying to be too perfect. Get it on goal. Oh, he's going to be feeling the regret on that one, though, yeah, right? you don't get many chances, and this one's not even a scoring chance because he doesn't hit the net. Moves the puck up to Carter. Receives the pass. Look out, a two-on-one. Big save by the goaltender. The Bruins have it against the wall. Nordstrom's lugging the puck. Moves it over to Carlo. And he coughs it up with the pass. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Shot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three. That offer is a big... Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Los Angeles starts the period by winning the draw, but they don't have a lot of time left to work with on this man advantage. Blocked in traffic. Great timing to come up with the interception. Nordstrom's got it across the line. The Kings can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Blocker save! Los Angeles looks to move the puck from their own end. Tries to get the puck over to Carter. Eagleized by the referees. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like they caught the slash. And here comes the judgment from the official. 
Slashing the call, you know about these. Yeah, you get nabbed for them. I mean, the worst slash you can make is when you slash somebody in the pants. It's like somebody's hitting a drum. It sounds loud, and you don't even hurt the guy. And that's blocked. Boston's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Here they come on the attack. Slides it across. Scores! Not the special teams unit we expected to deliver. No, this is a real turning point in the game here. It's the shorthanded group capitalizes and gets on the board. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Boston's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. And he gets the puck right back. Centering pass! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Carries it in. Time of the goal. Hammers one. Denies him on the play. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Boston's now up by four. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the call. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied a big scoring chance right there. Carries it across the line. Puts it just wide. He's looking to put that just inside the post. Just misses. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Scores! Two goals in 50 seconds. So quickly on the board. This is where you want run time here in hockey, right? This game can't end quick enough. They're getting pounded. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Boston's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Here's a short pass to Burke. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Hooked away. Takes the feed at the point. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Burke. Carter's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. We got a minor penalty coming up here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five on three set to begin. When this puck is moved side to side on a five on three, you're going to rotate those penalty killers. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. McAvoy's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. A little bit of frustration there. He's out of position, and he gets called for slashing. And that two-man advantage will continue here on the power play. And it's quite some time on the five-on-three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. Los Angeles gains a hold of it. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Quick feed to Ayafalo. It's a two-on-one to his teammate with the stop. From the back of the cage with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Hutton. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Taken along the wall by Ayafalo. Oh, James, that's close. I he scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. Los Angeles has a little momentum now here in the third. A goal will give you some, but they need a lot. They need to start piling the goals up 
They might even get the goalie out really early. And now it's grabbed by Doughty. And he slides it quickly to Kopitar. Here's the pass. Gets a stick on it to make the save. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Sends it over. He scores! Another short-handed marker. You don't see that often. No, they're not a very passive group killing penalties, are they? That's a couple of times where they've just taken advantage of a mistake and raced up the ice. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Boston's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. With possession along the wall and makes the save. Time of the goal. And now he tries to get it across to Wagner. Los Angeles tries to break out from their own end. And look at the... He's got a step. Big save. I know you like goals, Ferraro, but that was impressive. Yeah, great. Good. Nice save, pal. <laughs> Picked up along the boards by Brown. Comes up with the stop. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Wagner's got it against the boards. The Kings look to start the transition game. Looks to pass it to Doughty. Puck grabbed by Wagner. Wagner's carrying it ahead. He says, let's get physical on that play. Looks to make a play over to Brown. Shot just wide. Boston's got the puck shorthanded. Moves it quickly over to Wagner. Takes the pass. Can't get it to Doe. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Rask's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. You call that a hatchet job with that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there. <laughs> Very good reference. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. The puck battles become more important when you don't have much. He might have a step here. All alone. Slides it across. He scores. Oh, that was gorgeous. That's a good feeling for the shooter. He gets out in the clear on the breakaway, and he doesn't miss. Excellent snapshot past the goalie. Boston's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Moussa to Ayafalo. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Into the offensive end now. That's not going to fool him. Quick pass to Hutton. And that one's picked off. Another stop by the goaltender. The Bruins have had an outstanding season. When you look at the very best teams in the league, they sit at the very top, a testament to how well they played this year. Los Angeles needs to find a way to light the lamp as they trail in this third period. Tries to get it to Kempe. Handles the puck from the left side. Along the half wall with the puck. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. krejci has got it along the wing. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. From the opposite point. Let's it go. Stops him cold. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Takes it across the blue line. All alone. Move to the middle. Oh, Ray, what a play. The defender comes right back and swipes this play away before it's a real dangerous chance. And that's a great read to pick off the pass. Quick feed down low. Quick feed to Kempe. Gets in front of it. Sends a pass over. 
Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped with ease. We got a whistle here as we'll have to get the net realigned here as it was knocked off. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Kopitar's won it. Power play set to expire. One last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. Boston's penalty killers get a hold of it. Break away. Here's a short pass. He scores! Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. Some guys like to shoot, some guys like to deke. You can shoot the puck like that on a breakaway. I'd pick that as option A. The Bruins have really been strutting their offensive prowess. You've been impressed tonight? I really have. They can put it on cruise control now. A large lead here in the third period. Los Angeles has it in the open ice. Ferk's got it into offensive territory. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. Into the offensive zone. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. On the attack along the boards. And now he moves it to Kempe. Sends it over to Brown. Knocked away. Boston's got the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Here in the back half of this period, Boston's putting on one of their most impressive offensive displays we've seen in a while. Bergeron's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. All right, Ray, is he thinking about it now? Oh, there's no way he's not. I had nine of these, nine hat tricks, and when you get the second one, it's really kind of the only thing you're thinking about. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Directed over to Wagner. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, Went headhunting there. I think he did. Man, that thing is way over top of the net. Moves it quickly over to Fanuf. Right up the gut. Here they go. Moves it around along the half wall. Let's it fly. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Los Angeles has continued to manufacture scoring chances more than the other team has, yet they cannot find a way to finish them off. And time is running out. Under a minute to go in the third. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And the puck's booted away. There's a shot, and he makes the save. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck scooped up by Wagner. Looks to set up at the point now. Nears the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Here's a backhand. Denies him in front. Trying to shake loose. Great defensive effort. Wow, did he open up the Jets there to catch the player on the breakaway. Turn aside the chance. Over the line they come. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Tempers flaring and someone's off to the box for slashing. And so often you just reach out and react a little bit of frustration. It's a pretty obvious call though. Up the neutral zone now. Good defensive effort to poke it away. There's the final horn and this one's in the books. Coming into this game, this team was really confident. So to suspect another win probably wasn't a stretch for them. They extend the streak. Well, the way they're playing, it looks like they